for a long time that was it was nothing more than a dream. We think we have something to add here. We think we can create flavors that people will want. We're brewing. <laughs> We're making beer for the first time. I think our capacity right now is about 1,500 barrels a year. Behind me is Carton Brewing Company, one of the newest craft breweries in New Jersey. Jersey drinkers can expect both session beers and big beers. So tell me about what you're doing today. Um, well, we're brewing. <laughs> we're making beer for the first time. Um, so your system is, is finally in place and uh, it's uh, being used. What are you brewing? Uh, we're making the first batch of Boat and uh, we are Jamie from Newland, the, corporate, the company we bought it from. Made all this, brought all this deal. Jamie came down up from Texas, and he's uh, sort of walking us through it all, making, helping us work out the kinks. Like we had to re retool the auger yesterday because that stupid slide gate wasn't in right. And uh, so you know we're, we're, we mashed in. We got here about 8:45 this morning. We, we weighed out uh, the, the malt bill, grained in um, into the grist case, and then. Got the, got the foundation water in here, mashed in about, I guess it was 10 o'clock we were mashing in. We are done by 10.15. Um, and now we're, uh, we finished, war we, we let it rest for about an hour, we boil off for 20 minutes, or more, a little more, maybe until it was clear. That's what we were doing with the, that work grant. Yep. And uh, now, we're, now we're running off, we're sparging and running off into the kettle. We got the, the, the jackets and our beautiful boiler on, the bottom jacket. So we're heating up what we got in there and, and uh, We'll be boiling sometime now. I have no idea exactly when, but <laughs> after I do it this time, hopefully I'll know in the, in the future. And then uh, we're going to double brew today. So then we're going to grain out right away and we're going to do all that mash process again. So how'd you start working for Carton? How'd this whole thing come about? Um, it's, I'm old, Augie and I are old friends. It's a long, you know, it's, it's, it's a, like everything. It's a long story, but the, the short answer is... Uh, you know, it was sort of a shared dream for a long time. That was that was nothing more than a dream. And then about I don't know three, four years ago, I started uh, home brewing seriously. Augie had actually given me my first homebrew kit, one of those boxes. Like it must have been six years ago. Well, when for his wedding, I helped out, and uh, he gave me a homebrew kit, and then that didn't work at all. That was a horrible <laughs> mistake. Um, I mean, it wasn't a mistake to give me the gift, but it was a uh, it was awful beer. Um, and then about three years ago, I started homebrewing with a buddy and started, and about two years ago, started bringing beers down when, when my wife and I would come visit because my friends um, we were watching Jets games and drinking homebrew. And then Chris and Augie were like, hey, we should start a brewery. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Get me out of my crappy job. Um, and then they were like, no, we should really start a brewery. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and and uh, that's kind of more or less how it all came together. Tell me a little bit about starting a brewery. Um, I think we were, we were drinking a lot of beers made by people we liked. And they were all kind of small and available, but not necessarily close enough to us. So we, we were finding the more we drank, the better we liked stuff that was closer, more available, flavors, but we were still needing to travel. We were needing to go to places like Delaware and Philadelphia and you know New York and Vermont were the kind of closest places that had enough of a variety of beer that we could drink it and keep it interesting and have fun. And we saw that as something kind of missing in Jersey. There's a couple guys doing a great job, but there just weren't enough people. Like In our opinion, we wanted to have a different beer every week and there just weren't people making them that we wanted to drink because there's just not enough people so we decided to step up and get involved and said look we, we think we have something to add here we think we can create flavors that people will want we definitely can create flavors we want so behind that we just started working on a business plan how do you do it how do you make it make sense how do you you know who's the guy and that's how we found Jesse and said look Jesse will run the business you know he'll be there every day and we'll we deal with him and make our plans and execute them and you know we brew together on the weekends and during the week Jesse's there making sure everything's running smooth. In terms of your marketing strategy and branding your brewery itself what are some of your goals in the future and you know now that you're actually brewing? Um, for the time being Jersey's got a very weird law structure where we can't really we can't sell our beer to people like they can't come to the brewery and drink it with us 
without, you know, they can taste, we can do like four or four ounce tastes and they can take two growlers home. But we can't really, like a brew pub, have an interaction with our customers. And it's not really a retail point of sale, so they can't really come back to us and say, oh, I love these two and didn't like this one. So for the time being, you know, I think our capacity right now is about 1,500 barrels a year. I don't think that's a lot of bars. I think there's a couple very good bars around our area. And if we can find 20 of them that we have a good dialogue with, we're at Twin Light Tap right now, which is where we're talking. And, and Mark's a great guy, and he's got that, and he's got a dialogue with his customers, and we have a good dialogue with him. So when we're in here, I think we'll, we'll get that feedback that the kind of New Jersey's laws keep us from having. So I think for the short term, what we want to do is get work our way through a couple styles of beer, get it in front of the people in our community, you know, through good relationships like this, get the feedback and find out what people really want. Ultimately, once we know what they like and we're making it, we're hoping that'll force us to grow.